Hello everyone. So in the continuation with in place editing in edit config node, let's discuss how to do in place editing for any text field widget in a component. So let's see. I have already created one component copyright text here, and in this component, if you see, I have a field copyright text, and this is a purely text field. Now, how to do in place editing for this particular widget? So again, very simple. We need to create a node. cq colon in place editing config now a detail type plain text so here one more important thing i would like to say uh, that this is a text field so for a plain text field uh, the editor type is plain text for a rich text which you have seen in my previous video the editor type is text active boolean okay now next is make a node config so i add sorry not here uh, create a node named config you just need to follow the steps i mentioned in the my blog and in structured this now this and this is string and we need to add this here okay add now let's see how Uh, in place editing work so now this in place editing is enabled and now you can edit sorry now you can edit whatever you want to edit actually there is a problem with in place editing now in place editing is done now there is a problem like because you have seen that i edit copyright text here and when i do in place editing it just edit the whole content in an html so it it is always a good idea to use a placeholder because this is a placeholder text and i want to show it only in case of only in case of uh, when i don't have content so again let me throw the component all over again copyright text yes i throw the component again uh, see the copyright text right now but when i add it this is shivani kar see now actually i need to add one more condition here if wcm mode added and it is no value actually or so if it is in edit mode or mm again it's an and sorry okay now there is only this content in the edit mode now if you want to edit i i should edit like this so always remember that don't put some dummy content here and there just put everything under one condition so that only the actual content gets uh, gets uh, uh, changed uh, one more important thing i would like to add here because in my previous video i had one step which is really unnecessary so i just want to correct it here that uh, that from 6.2 you can see these kind of placeholder but from am 6.3 uh, core wcm has introduced a new kind of placeholder i really find them interesting and uh, so let's see how to use this placeholder so if you see here in the title they have added let me just copy the whole content once and then just clean up so they are using one template this template uh, let me make you understand what it does so first they call this particular template core wcm component common v1 template dot html it is not possible in am 6.2 because 6.2 don't have this particular hierarchy so this is purely for 6.23 to 6.4 and i would love to use these kind of uh, placeholder in place of using this particular thing so this is actually this is actually an alternative for this so what happen data is like all template dot placeholder is empty and then properties dot copyright so here you don't need to mention uh, uh, like which component is this or something so if you do like this so what happens let me show you what happens let me throw the component again copyright text component and now you can edit the component here so you don't need to mention any component name here whatever is the jcr title of the component it takes here uh, so please take care in my previous video in which i showed with rich text that this is not 
this is not any way related to in place editing this is just for the placeholder so wrongly i added it is an extra step now the last thing the final most thing is uh, it is not always mandatory to put this particular uh, text property name here so if i don't put anything here in which property it gets saved it means there is a default value available in which the value gets saved so yes already we have a component see i added something if i open the dialog the content is not here because i have not defined the property name and it is getting saved in a default in a default uh, in a default value so which is that mm. it is text see if i i again show you this is my component okay let me just remove whole component and then show it to you copyright text component so if i edit something in 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 place editing let let me put a nice thing my name is shivani so if i add this thing you are not able to see here because it's not getting stored so where it is storing it is storing under a default uh, default uh, property which is text so if you are using the text as a, a name property for a widget and using in line in line editing then no need to add the property text property name in the config node i hope you like the video if if you like the video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching